Hello everyone, this is the video number 2, setting up Selenium. <clears throat> In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up Selenium for your local or Windows machine. Right? So, <clears throat> I will show you step by step how to go, go with this. First, we need to download some of the resources from online. One is Intel J, second is Maven, third is JDK, Selenium and Chrome drivers. And even I give, I give the direct link to download this and I will show you how to go with this setting up this Selenium. <clears throat> Alright, we are using Intel J because even we can make use of uh, Eclipse as well for the Selenium tutorials. And we are using a Java for this Selenium <clears throat> co automation perspectives. And uh, what is the difference between Intel J and and uh, Eclipse? Both are one and the same, but I feel Intel J is much faster than Eclipse. And uh, <clears throat> Intel J, we are comfort. I am comfortable with Intel J, but coding thing where the program style, writing style, and all the syntax will keep the same for both Intel J as well as Eclipse. If you are using a Eclipse, then it's fine, no problem. You can go with that. And the way of writing a program keeps the same for both. So <coughs> I give a link for Intel J. Here is the link where yeah, here if you go to this link, you can see for Windows users you can just download community edition and for the Mac you can download this community. I prefer community, then you can go with ultimate as well, no problem in that. I prefer community. So <coughs> once you download this Intel J, just and copy all this in one folder and keep ready with that so that you can move forward easily so just keep a folder and download all this one by one and may one you can go to this website once you go this below down there is a may one file you can download this zip file this is both same for windows as well as mac users and just keep and keep ready with that in one of the folder right? just download jdk from this oracle website go to this website and select 7.79 version and give asset asset for all these box, video boxes and for the windows user if you have a 64 machine download this jdk64.exe if you are using a mac you can download this tmg file right so which is 196 mb and in this in case of Windows which is 140 MB. Just download and keep ready with one folder. In Selenium, I give a direct link. If you just go to this link, it will Selenium directly downloads into your machine, which will be stored in download folder. And uh, Chrome driver <coughs> for the Mac users, you can select pick any of this version. Once you select, yeah, there will be an option Chrome driver for mac 32 you can make use of this for mac but in case of windows this windows version won't work even any of this version for windows won't work because this is for 32 bit machine where we are most of we are people are using 64 bit so this chrome driver this link won't work for windows so even i tried lots of searching windows chrome driver 64 for windows machine but i didn't find but at the end i found one of the Chrome driver for Windows which is working fine and I upload those <coughs> files into my professional website which is seleniumcucumberexperts.com <coughs> in that I disc I gave step by step how to go with this setting up of selenium there you can find the link and just download that and <coughs> just copy into one of the folder create a folder and copy Make sure that all the softwares are in one folder so that it will be easy for you to go with that. I downloaded all this and anyway I installed this and installed this Intel J. Right? So I installed, I create and press create new project and select May 1. And here you can give a, your JDK, whichever you downloaded this JDK and copy into one of the folder. Here you can specify the path where you downloaded. I downloaded and I gave it already. You can give JDK 1.7 and go with next and give do by D anything. I give anything you can do automation. Okay. Go same here. It won't come. Go to next. 
जीमेल लॉग इन एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू डू द जी मेल लॉग ऑटोमेटिक एंड जी मेल लॉग इन इन द अपकमिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो कैन एस राइट सो यू कैन सी दीज चेक दीज स्मॉल डायलॉग्स आई वॉन्ट टू एनेबल एनेबल दिस ऑटो इम्पोर्ट राइट एंड दिस इज अंटेल द टूल वेर द लेफ्ट साइड यू कैन सी द प्रोजेक्ट राइट देर इज अ टू फोल्डर आइडिया एंड सोर्स इन सो देर इज मेन एंड टेस्ट वी यूज टू राइट ऑल द Java classes into this Java folder. Okay, so make sure that all the Java is in Java folder, and there is a POM file. You can see these POM files where we are going to <coughs> give all the dependencies on these POM files. We're going to mention all these dependencies in the POM POM file. All right. So, and we download IntelJ. We should give a Maven path, and since we gave JD JDK path, if we didn't, we can go to your file. You can see all these options here, and uh, so go to file, and uh, here other setting and default setting. In case of Windows, there is a direct one more option in inside a file <coughs> drop down. There is a setting, so this is other setting, default setting. I go to build. There is the build tools and May one here. You can see. May one home directory. Just override, give a select here, and select where you had downloaded this May one and give a path. I downloaded May one source, and there is a software here. I give a May one and choose, okay, and apply. Okay, you can give that. You can specify the May one path in this ID, right? So we are done with May one, and JDK also we done. If you didn't specify it before, you can specify now the JDK path. Go to Project Structure, Libraries, SDK. Here you can give. Here I already gave one point seven. If you don't give, you can add JDK. Alright. Choose wherever you downloaded the JDK. The one the link I gave specified in this. Alright. Just select Apply. Okay. Alright. So we are done with JDK as well and Selenium. Just download from this link and Selenium. One thing we should download it from online and file for the structure libraries. Right click on plus Java. I kept in users documents. I will select the. I will give you the path where I downloaded the Selenium yeah, jar file. Okay. Once it is done, okay. Apply. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I I specified the Selenium. <coughs> I specified the Selenium path as well. The jar file I downloaded. Yeah. Once I downloaded, I should add a dependency into. Just remove the copy of this. It will be given below in my description box. <coughs> you can just copy paste into form dot xml file. <coughs> yeah, it is showing some error. So <coughs> I prefer don't paste this. Better the same code we will type it out. That's better. You can see dependencies, dependency tags. It's better. I prefer to type it dependencies inside dependency tag. So. That time it won't show error because when I tried it, copy paste that was not working. So let's the same thing. Let's type it. Group ID was the yeah article ID is Selenium Java. Add one more version time. It is available in the. Description box. You can copy paste it. So it is <clears throat> now the Selenium jar file is imported into our project. Let's test it out. <coughs> you can see here whatever the Java code you are going to write it should be in test file, test folder inside the Java folder. 
we get another java class new java class let's give web driver web driver itself and as of now we are going to dump all the classes into main class main method so let's create a main method public static void main and let's test whether selenium is properly imported or not so let's create object of web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver no? yeah now the selenium you can see here the selenium web driver important selenium firefox firefox driver is important so now you can say that selenium jar file is imported into our project well so <coughs> now in the upcoming tutorials we will be studying the methods of all the selenium whatever is the web what is web driver and how to perform the automation on the selenium at all so thank you so much